Okay, so here we are again. <clears throat> this time for some Road to the Show. With none other than Dog Bones. Dog Bones in the Majors now with the White Sox. After, I think we did just... Uh, we got just up to his debut. Last time. He... Hit a home run, the very first pitch he saw, and then he proceeded to go one for eight in an extra inning game that went on forever. Um, so yeah, I think that's where we left off last time. One for seven, one for eight, it was something in that neighborhood. I think it was one for eight, actually. So yeah, so he is in the majors. My daughter is actually still up and uh, taking her bath, and she'll get into bed here. She was working on, um, I don't know, the, the kids, do they do those rainbow looms now where they make um, bracelets and things out of the rubber bands? She, she watches the YouTube videos and then figures out how to do them. So, Like I said, she loves her art, and that's one of the things she's into so she just made one of those I let her stay up a little while doing that since it's just her having some quiet time but uh, so anyway I might have to tuck her in in a minute here after she finishes her bath but I figured I'd get this started anyway so uh, yeah I'm not doing the face cam because the face cam straight through the PS4 covers up where all the it, uh, on the top right it would it would end up covering up um, you know what he gets for points and stuff and I think it's gonna be annoying in this and plus I just don't really feel like doing it right now so yeah when I get a, I, I want to get back to streaming through XSplit again where I could do some of the bells and whistles and kind of set up a custom spot for the face cam why not bottom right because I don't know where to switch it in the settings so notice you stuck with 27 instead of going back to 24 24 was his original number, like back when the series started last year, but all the time he was in the majors, he was 27, so I, I, that's why I stuck with that. Like, to me, I mean, he wore 24 in the minors for a little bit, but, but 27 was his legit, I mean, that's what I remember him, you know, wearing, so anyway. All right, so we'll get into some game action here. Dog Bones. Let's do this. Really? They're going to put me in a base stealing training? Ugh. No, you know what? I know he won't do that. He won't do well with that right now. I'm going to skip that. Hitting right under Jose Abreu. For now, anyway. Yeah, I know Hurricane does his face uh, cam all the time. He also streams with XSplit and all that good stuff, so. Are you saying he does it directly from his console now? Oh, is this his home debut? Ah, I guess it is, huh? Yeah, I'll ask him. I talk to Kane a lot. We'll compare notes on uh, streaming setups here now that I'm back into Twitch and stuff. I really I, I got to talk to Bob Train and Bafe and those guys too because they got all those, all that cool stuff going on in their streams where the you know it notifies when somebody follows and all that stuff. So we're going throwbacks. Enough batting practice.
U.S. Cellular Field there on a Saturday night in the Windy City. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Los Angeles Angels You're watching Game Anaheim 7 of the Cup Finals the Central leading Chicago in 04 White when you're lightning one. It's funny because I was just going through a box of uh, DVDs and stuff I packed up from the and house that I brought over. Much further, I'm just now going through and I actually have the, the highlight film, the highlight DVD from that Cup Finals. It's so random. I don't and know why I have that. Forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. Couple runners on. The dog Bones will stand in now. He homered in the ball game last night. I've been doing better lately. I just feel like if I don't locate the first pitch, oh! I swear, did that hit him? I'm calling a strike, but it, I swear it hit his foot. What's up with that? No lead to speak of. At second, here's the pitch, and a check swing. Did he go around? I'm surprised he didn't bring him up. Actually. Anyway, I've gotten much better at working longer at bats, following pitches off using contact swing with two strikes. Um, Look out! That one almost got away from Taking the first pitch if I don't locate it. Although I didn't do that in this at bat. I'm gonna pick you off, buddy. Back in standing. Just to stay alive here. Hang in there, these two get points for long at bats. It's kind of the name of the game here. I'm gonna pick you off again. Now it's spinning a throwback to second, <laughs> and he's back in standing. Pitch in the oh, third is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three, and the inning like is 15 over. 15 points if I could have put that White in play. White strand a couple. We've played an inning. Dog Bones will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. My mic sounds different, different than my commentaries, or different than the last live stream because it's it's straight through the, pay, uh, the PlayStation. The PS4 camera. It's not my. Uh, it's not my Yeti mic. First pitch here misses wide. One and zero. Oh. Well, we've mentioned it already, but look at the pitch count here in the third inning. He's almost completely out of gas already. And he'll dive back in safely. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing. Nothing. Our score. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. Different than my last stream, really? Hmm. Well, I don't know. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And this will be fouled away. Uh, so many two strike counts. Download roster updates. These should just pop up automatically. If you're talking about the ones that <coughs> the developers push through, 
Otherwise, you go to the roster vault if you're looking for like Operation Sports rosters. Yeah, streams will once in a while freeze on you if your internet hacks up or whatever. I don't know what to tell you about it. Kind of happens. Let me hear what this sounds like. Yeah, streams will once in a while freeze on you if your internet hacks Sounds about the same to me. I don't know. Chris Iannetta will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. There's the lefties offering on one and two. Maybe I just saw more tired this time around. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And a really? First, I missed, comes I missed the green by that much? Oh, he caught it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I thought it went... Oh, my contacts were playing tricks on me. I thought that went into the stands. We still have no score. Nice play bringing it down. I was going to say, I didn't miss the green meter by that much. Dog bones. I've got that Bryce Harper average. i got that 100 average coming up right now. The rosters don't update automatically, but if there's a new one, it should tell you when you come into the game. Start like when you fire up the game, it'll say a new roster is detected, and then it says, do you want to download and save it? And then you just say yes. Don't be surprised if he has so, I mean, yeah, it's about as automatic as it can be. Here's a 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Uh, why does the guest pitch feel different from the, the you know, they, they tweak it from year to year. It's changed a little bit. They've... Left a change out there for ah, him, but he missed shoot, it two and one. Back out. And this has been a um, common problem for all of these guys. You know, it used to be if you you'd just guess location away. or the pitch type, or like if you just guess location, even if you didn't get the pitch type right, it would light up, and so then they changed it so you had to get, get uh, pitch type and location. So that was one change. I'm hitting below one hundred. This sucks. Starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. Howie Kendrick will step in. One for two in the ball game. Yeah, the beard's not going. I like it. And now we'll try to That's a five-layer beard he's working he on. He's proud of down. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three. We are still scoreless. It just lets you know they're available. Well, if it's letting you know you're available, what are you doing with it then? That's the screen I'm talking about. It says it's available, so you say okay, and you save it. Big spot here in a game as close as this one, and a chance at redemption too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. He can make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Righty against righty, as this is taken for a ball. It's one Come on, dog. one run, six hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Now a look and so it's a little dangerous when I just play Road of the Show this time of night. Sometimes I'm just not focused. We'll see. Hopefully, I am. Went about halfway there, but it's a cold <laughs> strike regardless. Hopefully, I can do some damage here tonight. Line hard to We're center all about field. the change up right now, huh? Is there two gone? I only hit the ball hard that time. This ball's just hit way too hard to think about tagging up and trying for third, so he's just gonna have to be happy where he is right there at second.
Mike Trout will get another crack, one for three thus far. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground to third. Yikes. What's up with me missing the meter? I, I thought they ever missed first. that meter. Well, you know, he knew who he had running down the line right there, so he had to try Good to hurry grief. the throw. But in hindsight, I think he had a little bit more time than even he thought, and he winds up throwing this one away. Um, do you have any of, like, have you watched any of my PJs yet, or? You know what, I think I saw, I think I saw some. I'll be right back, guys. attack tonight was spearheaded offensively by this man Johnny Peralta talk about a worthy recipient he's our tops player of the game yeah he only had one hit but he definitely made it count big home run that turned out to be the decisive blow in the ball game so that just about does it for EK Psycho and the crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The White Sox win it 2-1. to one. Good night from Chicago. Pajama crisis averted. <laughs> All right. So, uh, did he yell at dog while I was going? Wait, what happened? We won. Who's that talking besides him? That's my daughter. Somebody give me a recap. <laughs> well, I can't imagine much. Just must have just went to the dugout scene, I imagine. Wow. We gotta get some hits. No, ah, oh, I hate when they do that. Darn it. I'm skipping this when I get in here. Walk off homework for Peralta? They didn't show it, did they? No, they wouldn't have shown it. Because I wasn't on base or anything. Um, Coleman went with Kara. Kylie stayed here. It was kind of a complicated weekend because Kara was out of town in Wisconsin at a lake place and um, I had the kids but Kylie had like a girls night sleepover on Friday night with my stepmom and like uh, her her cousin and stuff so um, then she begged to stay another night which she did I'm never even going to steal any bases here we're just going to end this right now. They tricked me into They put it the first thing on my agenda. They tricked me. That's usually where play next appearance is. Yeah, so anyway, she spent Friday night and then Saturday night, and she came back this morning, but 
Kylie was, she was thinking in her head that she was here tonight. So when Carrie came to get him, she wasn't really excited about going home. As a matter of fact, she was kind of upset about it. So I offered actually to keep them both, but Coleman decided to go home and, uh, and Kylie stayed here. So the kids are split up tonight. But uh, yeah, the pizza finally did come after an hour and a half. I filled out, I, I tried calling him twice and, and no answer. And when the guy showed up, the, the driver seemed pretty clueless. So after my ranting on Twitter, Pizza Hut hit me up with a, with a thing to do their, their complaint online. So I did that and it said they'd get back to me. So I fully intend to not pay for that pizza. Uh, they dropped me a spot at least in the line up there. Not surprised. If he goes oh for something, request a trade. <laughs> Why would I want to jump ship ship on the first place uh, team in the AL Central now? <laughs> You get the big dinner box. I did the. Um, it, it, it's it's kind of funny because I was I was on the fence between uh, Papa John's and Pizza Hut today, but I was really craving. Um, I love Pizza Hut's uh, thin and crispy. I always have since I was a kid. And um, yeah, so I decided on that, and then. Of course, you know, in hindsight, I'm like, I should have just gone with the Papa John's. Because they had, um, it seems like every day it's half off for some reason at Papa John's. Either it's, the, uh, you know, like when the Twins win, it's half off. You know, like when the Timberwolves win, it's half off. Now, now they've thrown the Minnesota Lynx in there, the WNBA team. They won yesterday, so pizza was half off today. So I probably should have just gone with that. But because I was craving... Thin and crispy, it had to be Pizza Hut, and that's what did me in. The Bigfoot Pizza. I think I do remember that. Time for baseball now on the show as we give you a look inside U.S. Cellular Field in Chicago. Here it's the second of this three-game set between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. How many teams was the old dog bones with? Uh, he started with the Braves, and then it was to the Reds. I think it was just those two organizations. It was Champ Kind that bounced around to four in the minors. Josh Hamilton will stand in for the first time. Currently third in the league in RBIs. Okay, hit your meter, bud. Roll pop and up. Here's a ball Make a bad the reaction air. there because I started in first. Bones has got it, and the side is retired. Angels leave one. Time for the White Sox to go to work. No triple score. decker. I remember the triple decker too. wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game in which the team dog bones did not play for the Red Sox um, ground ball to Joe Bob they could get two. Oh, that would have been and a good throw gets him one okay. game know your situation man that was a double play ball the thin ain't too crispy lately mine was it was also cold, though. See, now look at that. I don't get the double play, and they score four runs. They really love to bite you in the ass on things Dog like that. Bones will get his first opportunity here. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. I am also a fan of the stuffed crust. It's always either um, it's always either thin and crispy or stuffed crust. I, I used to like the pan a lot back in the day. 
I, I think they're pan pieces the coming right down hill. Come on, drop and right. Shock oh, is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. And right here, you've got the right fielder shading just a bit towards the alley. And I thought he'd have too far to go to get this ball, but he does close quickly out there, and he makes the play near the line. But they're, um... The way for pan pizza used to be, like, that's how... Like, I don't know I don't know what areas have Jets pizza, but I've gotten into Jets pizza here. Because I've got one close to me, and uh, Junk and I will always... Uh, oh, <laughs> I cannot talk to you at the same time, because yeah, I chase really pitches like that. Yeah, he that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at bat. Really? And this is I should not be fouled this away. Right now. I can Runner tell in right scoring now. position like at second with two down. Zero patience at the plate right now. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Close to the bag at second there. Now the pitch. Anyway, Jets yeah, Pizza this has this, their, and out their of eight corner pizza or whatever it's called, and uh, it's that's thick. And that reminds me how now Pizza's pan used to taste to me, like they're really the sheets, so the count will ready, stay put at one but and yet, two. like crispy on the outside. There's a big kind of swing, and he gives this one a ride high and deep to right center. And ha, see later, only that hits one home. is gone. <laughs> He has two so hits in the major leagues. They're both on right center as it's trimmed to a 4 3 game now. Oh, the Rangers have to score seven or more before you get pizza half off? All they got to do, we have low standards here. All they need is a win here. It's not the first hard hit ball, and it's looking like it might not be such a good night to be a pitcher. I will say I'm not a fan of Pizza Hut sauce. I like Papa John's sauce a lot better. Whenever I get a Pizza Hut pizza, no, I have to go. I have to go easy on the sauce, or it ruins it for me. Dog Bones, see what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. Hitting that awesome 143 now. Jets pizza is the best. I know, right? Um, what's awesome is you get you get an eight quarter pizza, and then you also get a uh, I forget what they call. It. They don't call yeah, them calzones. They call them uh, Jets pocket or something like that. It's basically a calzone. Oh, so good. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. Fastball that time. And they also do like they have like um, like subs. You can see that some of these pitches are missing just but then you can also get the sandwiches done in earlier. like the, the calzone crust. Those are pretty good too. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But the recovery throw will be in time to first. A good job that time of not giving up on the play and the inning is over. Strong so boys no good. runs on a base yep. hit. Also one error in the inning but two men left on. D backs up to split six or more to get half up. I'm telling you, man, low standards here. They probably look at that, they're like, well, the amount of games that the twins win, we'll just the uh, <laughs> we'll just go with wins. Although I don't think they count the wild like they don't do the wild. But yeah, Timberwolves wins, Twins wins. I guess they're they're scarce enough. They're they're confident in just going with that. That you know, I go to a lot of Timberwolves games because my dad has season tickets, and um, if they score a hundred and win, then you get free cherry berry ice cream. Dog Bones will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at this two-run homer that had him rolling early on. Yeah, Little Caesars. Little Caesars is cheap, but man, it tastes cheap. 
that Little Caesars is like, you know, if you if you have a party where you need like high now volume of pizza and, and you really don't care away. how good it is, that's the kind of pizza you get. You get you know, like the five dollar hot and ready's where you walk in and they're they're guaranteed to be there. Or um, holding tight at second, now the pitch. They gotta give you something free, like uh, free bread sticks or something. Time, like he's that barely able to follow it away. Yeah. Yeah, if you're, if you're ever in a party where you need cheap pizza, that's the place to go. Pitch a curveball oh, that's off the that. catcher's glove and gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Yeah, oh, the cherry berry thing? Yeah, you had to be at the game and have the ticket for that. Down with two men on base. But for the Papa John's ticket, it's anybody. Can't get a handle on it. Both guys I swear every day is something's 50% off around here just because now on what somebody had wandered. Something happened. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground Come on, man. Second. Can I just get like a regular by Kendrick. But the recovery throw will be in time to first. Bubble. Good job that time of not giving up on the play and the inning something. is over. White Sox strand a couple. Can't make any headway into an 8-3 deficit. I should download the app preplay. What does that do? Albert Pujols. Get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Ooh. Good biting slider there, hit on the ground down to third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Oh, I guess it's foggy. Turn. Seriously, two hits in the bigs, both homers. Offensively, the Angels tonight relied heavily on the work of this man, Eric Ibar. Can't ask for much more. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, two hits for him in the ballgame. <laughs> we don't have any in and outs around here. What can I upgrade that's worthwhile here? That would probably help. Come on, move me up so I can get a hit every other, like every three days. Five Guys, I liked Five Guys the first time I went there, but I, you know, I'm not a huge Five Guys fan. I, I try to like it, it's all right. I like uh, I like Smashburger a lot better, although Smashburger's fries suck. And burgers are awesome. Red Robin, um, yeah. I've been there a couple times now, and it's like, yeah, I get the unlimited steak fries. I mean, I get that, but like, getting anybody to come bring them to you, like, they're always so damn busy, and like, you like, you just give up anyway. And I, I kind of feel like the burgers are just so-so there. My favorite burger of, like, any chain like that, I think still has to be Fuddruckers. Basically because of all, like, the, uh, you know, like the condiment bar that you can put anything you want on them. We only have one Fuddruckers left here in town, though, I think. 
Why am I taking VP in the rain? I do not know. Smashburger is expensive. That's that's one of the problems. I usually only go there when I get a coupon. I'm like in the I'm in the email club, so every once in a while I get a buy one get one free or like a two dollar off or something. Fun Burgers is awesome. Yes, it is. Time for Especially now that they've got the Coke the machines, show, which, which uh, well, you know, more and more places are gonna be the uh, Coke in machines Chicago. with like the hundred percent match flavors. Between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim but yeah, most of them. The one that was close to me is gone Chicago now. White Sox. It's been gone for a couple of years. I got to go all the way over close to Mall of America. Not that way to, to go to one anymore. We go once in a while though. I don't know. I like Fuds because like I, I can actually get a burger. You and know, let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers and see how they <laughs> stack up right there. I love my burgers and steaks almost moving. Damn, I'm hungry for a burger now. You guys, you got me. I tell you, that's the worst thing about the late night streams where we start talking about food. Unless we're talking like Taco Bell or something, it's usually stuff we can't get to at this hour. They sell the fud records in different portions. Yeah, see that's nice too. Yeah, you can get this, the the size Dog you really want. Bones will dig in for the first I should go for like the half pound. A bit as he's seen that average dip I've done a pound burger before. So I was like, do, do, do you guys that have fud records around you? Do they do the once a year? Do they do the the challenge where you can come in and uh, get a three pound burger? And I, they've done it like. So at least two years in a row here that I've seen, I didn't go do it, there, but basically for yeah, 20 bucks, really you come in and, and uh, kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy you like get a, a three pound right, burger and then half like half. all the fries and whatever, and, and if you finish the, you know, the challenge or whatever, then you get like, Long run, I mean, come, but he come this on one down out there for the second out, nice play. Um... Anyway, I, I forget the exact details, but if you if you finish it, then you get a coupon for like a, a meal for two, and you uh, get a, I don't know if you got a T-shirt or something too. I know I've got the emails from it. I should see if I can find a link. Hold on one second. Do 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 do. -do. Huh. It's in Google search. Yeah, it's the Fat Tuesday three pound burger challenge. I found a Facebook link to it anyway. I'll put this in the in the comments. It's a start. Click on that, check that out. I wanted to do it once and then I'm like, why? <laughs> why would I want to do that? It's three pound burger, one pound of fries, and a drink. Three pound burger, one pound fries, and bottomless Coke for 20 bucks. You have to do a reservation 24 in hours in advance. This is Fat Tuesday now. Um, Plus, finish your meal within an hour to qualify for two future me two free future meals and a t-shirt for free. <laughs> yep, that's what the challenge is. Yeah. Dog Bones will stand in to start things out here in the Dude, home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken two out of the ball games at this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut Freaking right curveball. through this lineup for the first four man. innings. And boy, was he ever fooled Let's on that pitch. Let's help him out and chase that Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. And they take
take him out of the zone here Gear and he door. obliges. I think Doug Bones is thinking about a three there pound burger the right down. now. Well, this curveball, it just disappears. It, he thinks he's right on it at the plate. Look where it winds up. Completely out of the zone. And that's what you want as a pitcher. You want hitters to chase pitches. All right. Saline's going to my eyes. Contacts are failing me. Although I found that at this time of night, if you start putting saline in your eyes, they just freaking start drying up faster and faster. You're almost better off just not doing it. Two men are out now in the Angel Six. Are we getting no hit right now? In the first base did, did I see that right? Martin. Now a ball well, line what are we gonna do in the left field. That's a base hit. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to yeah, discuss how they want to attack things here. I have contacts and glasses. One of these days I'm going to do LASIK surgery and just get it over with. Oh, we've got hits. We just don't have runs. Man, this team has not winning much since I came up. Howie Kendrick I wonder if that's got something to do with me. Off here in the top <laughs> of inning number seven. Of a curveball here as this is bounced on the ground to third. If I'm only getting hit home runs, I gotta start getting more. Here to start inning number seven. Dog Bones will step in now as his guys look for a Come on, break safety, through run here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, He's thrown this curve time first pitch twice now, make it three so times. Ah, and meanwhile, this pitch gets away from him. And this is low, but Ionette is able to prevent it from getting away. Runner holding tight at second, now the pitch. Ah, and miss for threw, strike it, one. threw it up. Yeah, and he's really getting over the top of that curveball. He, he loves that pitch, doesn't he? Down here that will be caught behind the That's runner at first. Right and this is going to be a double play. How about that? That is going to end the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We return to Chicago after. Dog Bones. I'm going to drop another shot. 100 again into soon. a double play as last time. And he runs it in on him and gets him oh, to swing through it for strike one. So what's more annoying than trying to hit that curveball? Now we got in. in what should be a fairly low pitcher. stress appearance. Yeah, but it seems like these outings are where you relax a little bit too much. You give up three runs and then watch your ERA climb by another point. You'll need to guard against that. I need someone to come in and throw me some meatballs until I get adjusted here. Swing and a miss on the fastball and it's one and two. Could this go any worse? And this is fouled back and out of play. Now a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. He'll try again one, two. Foul Hanging straight there, back. Not by much. Did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. My eyes, God. It's times like this. And this is going to be a foul ball. Probably should just take him out, put my glasses in, but. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Well, if he puts a ball on play here, he's going to get a ton of points for seeing this many pitches. And you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and Still he got comes out points. number two. You want to talk about throwing a fastball in a guy's kitchen? 
Uh, he came in, sat down, had a cup of coffee with him. <laughs> you aren't going to tie a guy Frustration is definitely than. setting in for dog bones. You are correct. Oh, yeah, he's going to get an ass chewing. He called you up and put you on the 40-man roster for what? The game honors for this one, and guys, I think we can all agree that this fella right here deserves it more than anybody. Will I ever continue my NHL 14 be a GM? Yeah, Honestly, I'm probably not going to do much NHL until next gen picks up. Run that turned out to be the decisive blow in the ball game. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest I mean, of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been it, a it's the case for pretty much any of my series that I do. Find never say never, but the you know, the Angels are winners here, nine to two. So what's the requesting a trade going to do? If I'm not hitting, I'm not hitting. <laughs> it really doesn't have anything to do. They're playing me. They're giving me opportunities. If they weren't playing me, that would be when I'd look for a trade. <laughs> well, then I can't wait until next gen. Yeah, you and me both. <clears throat> I love playing NHL. It's just I have so many other things going on. It's just, I just don't really get to it much. and When I do, it doesn't seem to be viewed very well. So I don't know, kind of makes me not that motivated uh, to do it, but um, I love the NHL series. I, I think I'm a, I'll am get a, uh, I think what I'm dying for is just a better career mode is what I really want to see, you know? I mean, I want, I want something along the lines of what 2K is doing for basketball. I was so excited about Live the Life, and then I didn't realize it was just like a a text sim based thing and I'm like uh, really kind of put the air out of the tires for me watch for 30 points am I although I could use some plate discipline all right we didn't like that series against the Angels lost two or three but we're gonna turn things around against Cleveland win the first game Yeah, I do. I do like playing EA SHL. I, I used to do some of that, and you know, had started a team a couple different years. So that that's probably what I should get back into doing. This is next gen. We're talking about any. We're talking about hockey. Two K fourteen is too scripted. Maybe. But don't you think it's a revolutionary step? I mean, obviously, things will probably go above and beyond what we have now at some point. But, I mean, it's scripted. But wouldn't you rather have something like that than a text-based A, B, C, D choice that's really, that your meter goes up a little bit? I mean, but who cares? I mean, I want things to be, you know, actually acted out by, uh, you know, and capped by an, by actors and stuff like that. I think that's awesome. Putting that little bit of, you know, going the route of a, you know, Grand Theft Auto or whatever with these with these cutscenes and stuff. Now with, on with a story going night I think the it's awesome. City of Chicago. Another game Tonight, that was awesome with it was the was the career mode in. Um, in fight and night. the central leading Chicago White Sox. That was awesome. I loved going through that. Because that's what my, uh, my crew And before we progress like, any uh, further, let's have a quick look at our two starting lineups for tonight. Who's my and favorite Lord of the Show player on PS4? Uh, pitchers, as you see their numbers right there. I don't know. I've always been partial to Joe Broadway. I do like myself. Uh, <laughs> the one models after me, the catcher, Matt Meyer, but I, I think still 
My favorite's gotta be Joe Broadway. Dog Bones will stand in back in the lineup okay, after getting the night off yesterday. Time to put a game together here. First pitch on the way. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. I love when I tell myself I'm taking the first pitch, and then it's a strike. Okay, here we go. Fastball here. Yeah, we got a regular base hit. That's a base hit. what folks mean when they talk about time in the fastball. He looks at the first pitch just to get a feel for the speed, the movement, and then when it comes again, that bad now hit. he goes out of handle. <laughs> Jeff Keppinger will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Brantley is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away. For the second out. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Well, if this is a day game, this is a home run. You know, a night game, much different story here. This place just Favorite doesn't have the same player? kind of carry to Currently? under the lights. Probably this proof. winds up being a long out to the warning track. Gordon Beckham will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. I can't say I'm really attached to anybody. Uh, I'm not terribly attached to anybody on the current roster. I'm pining for the days of Jim Tomey already. Now a throw over to first, and he has to die, but he's back in easily. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, if he's missing right here, he ain't missing by much. Not getting too many favors behind the plate. Um, I, I think Maurer is a good ball player. I mean, you know, I mean, I recognize that when he was still and in high school. You know, that he swung on and lifted down the left field line. I just don't think that. Brantley is there, and he'll make um, the catch to retire the side. Run like. Here. Some of our nation's young minds and future Stop leaders around. here in attendance. Um, Yikes. The three you know, he's an average hitter. I mean, he's Night not, I mean, at his best, he's an RBI guy, but he's he's not even that right now. I mean, he's an average hitter, so I mean, we're paying way too much money for a guy who gets for average when he's not driving in runs and he's obviously not hitting home runs. He's not a power guy. He's not an RBI guy. He's an average hitter, so... I don't, Dog, I, I don't dislike Maurer in any way. I just, uh, you know, time I don't, I, I'm not one of those people that's just, you know, what am I trying to say? You know, he's one of those guys that just, he's, he's got the crowd. He's, you know, it's, it's like Kirby Puckett coming to the plate back in the day, you know. Although Kirby did it all, man. And this is foul but you know, but the, back. He, he automatically gets that. Two runs, six hits, and no errors so far from the, for the White from Sox. The home crowd, you know, it's like Joe Maurer, hometown boy. And here's yeah, a fastball yeah. that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Yeah, he's got he's it out of here. Back and he'll put this no, he caught it. The oh, I thought he hit that out. Come on. And you know these guys already have two yeah, home runs in the game, bad. and they darn near I'm just got their go third one here. That ball just kind of ran out of steam, just shy of the wall. All right, I'll be right back, guys.
Alrighty. So, um, yeah, no, uh, he is, Joe Maurer is indeed a class act guy. Um, I've met him. He's great. Sign the ball for me. We'll dig in now. A single and I had a thing through my work um, at that time. And yeah, I mean, he's a real cool guy. I, I got nothing against Joe Maurer. I'm just saying, if you're paying a guy to be your franchise, I just don't think he's the prototype. I mean... <laughs> You know, I mean, you're kind of stuck because he is the hometown boy. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Yeah, and I mean, you let really that guy walk in the state, purple. you know, it's going to be like, what is wrong with you? But, you know, i just like to see a guy Stays with the doesn't necessarily need to be that power guy, but I mean, you know, now RBI guy. Lucky. I mean, come didn't on. Make contact on that one. Ball. Really? Swinging for the first down. I'm just going to keep swinging the curveball. He just disappears. In the dirt. He thinks he's right on it at the plate. Look where it winds up. Completely out of the zone. And that's what you want as a pitcher. You want hitters to chase pitches that aren't strikes. <laughs> it got so bad that they pitch hit for him in the night. Although he dang near hit another home run. And boys, probably a handful of deserving candidates for our top player at the game award. But what do you say we go ahead and give it to the man who shut the door out of the pen? Yeah, it, it's nice. The nice thing is, is they, I mean, they, they, they pretty much committed to the dog at this point. I think they, what, they sent the guy down to double A that was the third baseman, I think. Icon, I will do my best to get a home run with him here. Cellular Field in Chicago as we join you for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Today it's the rubber match of this three-game series between the Cleveland Indians and the central leading Chicago White Sox. All right. Dog I'm going to focus more on my bats and less on this uh, chat here. Sorry, guys. Catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. And he's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. Right, right, now here's a ball hit hard on the ground. Come on, man. What a stop. The second for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Oh, man. I'm going to give him a 9.5 on that play. He'd probably get a 10 if they could have turned two there, but I'll tell you. Just getting the force in second was good enough for me. Yeah, if you're a baseball fan and you're gonna play, you're gonna want to play baseball. Definitely get the PS4 for that reason. If you don't, I mean, if you don't play sports Diane games, Viciedo you know, when will take his first cuts now. That's not that important to you. It may be a game run. like Titanfall on Xbox or something would entice you to be on that side. But um, you know, I was always an Xbox guy until I became both to play the show. But as always, first and foremost, an Xbox guy, and I'd recommend it. If, you, if you had to pick one and you're a baseball fan, you can Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Yeah, I'll be doing a career mode in the, in the new UFC game for sure. And he's fallen behind now, 3-1. 
Well, if he's missing right here, he ain't missing by much. Not getting too many favors behind the plate. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Can we make this snappy. Let me get to another bat. Swing and he shoots this one. Oh, to first. he, he catches on the fly. Speared by the first baseman, and he'll <laughs> step on the bag himself for the double play. So when does UFC come out? I believe around. it's like June 17th we'll go or something down to like the that. Top of the third, and we are tied, nothing, nothing. I keep forgetting which is which. Uh, Watch Dogs is this week. So, uh, yeah. So, UFC is June 17th, I think. Scott Hairston will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. 2 2 pitch pulled on the ground down to third. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. What about hockey? What about hockey? Oh, what would you recommend? Well, hockey's going to be on both, so. Dog Bones. Stand in to start things out here in the hall. All your sports half. games are going to be on both. Except the with the exception this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ball game to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. And this is fouled back and out of play. And just lucky to make contact on What's that. What's the difference between the current foul. gen and the next gen if you get UFC? Yeah, I don't know if they're making it for current for uh, for PS3, Xbox 360 or not. I guess I haven't next really heard. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Yep, another good job right there to get that first out. You can pretty much bet he's probably thinking to himself, anytime my boys give me six runs of support, I think we're going to be okay. This is a pretty tough hole to climb out of now. Dog Bones will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. The struggle. The struggle. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. Now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Under it now is Brantley, and he has it for the first out. And the off-speed stuff just continues to keep guys He's in those points balance. where you feel like you still just got that you're meant to be in a, uh, uh, in a slump. These guys in knots all throughout. And there's not a whole lot you can do. Uh, that's how it feels right now. Dog Bones will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Here's the first offering. And here's a swing and a miss on a ball. That Come on, follow your rule. Don't one. swing at the first pitch. Yeah, I'm telling myself that. And that still one, swing. And that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Uh, especially starting off an at bat. 0 oh, 1 pitch, and he can't make contact on the bender. 0 oh, 2. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Get another foul ball and here, here and this time you get a good pitch like that remain and at 0 2. Just trying to make contact in under the hands with a fastball, it's 1 and 2. This is a spot where it helps to have a two seat fastball like that. Smart. So you 
you can work in on the right hand hitters. And this ball oh. swung on and hit on the ground back up the box. Throw on to first, and the White Sox here down to their final out now. It's not like he's hitting every pitch hard, but when he does, it doesn't help him. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our top? Has anyone had early career success? Um, Joe Broadway's doing pretty good right now, actually. He's hitting like 350. All right, what was I gonna put this into? or something. Maybe he's got to take it north of the border. I don't know. This is the same guy that plays in Chill Broadway. <laughs> uh, the way I'm hitting tonight, it looks like I should be doing like a Nick Punto road to the show or something. First live stream is almost processed already. Nice. Even in BP, I can't keep it fair. Come on. Finishing up their work week, making their way into Rogers Center here in Toronto. Tonight, it's the first of four between the central leading Chicago White Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays. Leave the little man alone. Hey, and man. Before we get too much further, here's a look at each manager. I'm a twin fan. Twin City here. here the twin Cities. I, I lived through a lot of uh, Nick Punto's career. And let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. Edwin Encarnacion will stride forth to take his first cuts now. And he's a long ball threat, of course, currently fourth in the American League in that department. A big uppercut there as he popped this straight up. And I mean way up there on the left side of the infield. Bones is there and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. Dog Bones will stand in, and he wasn't much of a factor yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the loss. Oh, when, is, when has he been a factor? And he'll take strike one on the fast. Every time I decide to lay off, first that is strike. Uh, one good fastball in the dirt, another as he jumps ahead, 0-2 oh now. Not a real good effort. Though. I'm just nah, it, It's right one now. thing if it's a slider running away or something like that, but that pitch right there was never going to be a strike. Now a ball rolled foul toward first as he stays alive. And a 
good two strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches but the count will remain at 0 and 2. And this is fouled back and out of play. Hmm. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already and there's your first out. Well, it's been something of a strikeout fest here to start this game off. Already four strikeouts now in the first five batters. Now that's going to be a tough pace to keep up. Dog Bones will stride in again. He struck out. He's going to get it going at some time. point. I just don't know when that point is. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Ah, uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Bautista is back in plenty Not of time enough, to put this course. away, however, and there are two gone. And you know, he's kind of going through a stretch right now where the ball just isn't jumping off his back. He's got a good pitch to hit right here. Looked like he put a good swing on it, but it just didn't go anywhere. Dog Bones will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. And he misses again, 2-0. This is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. That alone could be beneficial to an offense. A uh, great call that time, time as they caught him thinking fastball. It's 2-1. and one. That's a great call there on 2-0. and oh. The whole world's thinking fastball, but they drop the hammer on him. Now a ball lined to right on, center. Come on, dude. But right I'm there is the second so baseman, and that will retire right the now. side. A ball ticketed for right center, but the ticket is revoked as he goes up to pull this one down. We're back to Toronto after this. I couldn't hit a Dog ball any harder than I just did. We'll dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no <laughs> errors, and a runner left on. Yeah. Bottom of the seventh. Get up and stretch here in Toronto. Dog Bones We're hitting was under 100 again. A ground Come out on. His last time. Oh, no, he took a big that. swing that time as he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Check swing, but he held up in time. What are you even one. checking? Don't swing at all. How about seriously? Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Mm. And this is going to be a foul ball. <laughs> now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. Well, of course he'll it's get there play. as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first down. Now, this is a really tough play for a left fielder here, especially when he's moving to his right, because there's almost no foul ground here until that wall comes right up in your face. So just a great job to stay with that play.
how he's staying with this club right now, I have no idea. And the White Sox attack tonight was spearheaded offensively by this man, Gordon Beckham. Talk about a worthy recipient. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a Is there an interaction to say send me back down to double A where I was killing the ball? We got that nice record going on though. Ten games above 500. When Doc gets a hit, he should be named player of the game. <laughs> Boost the ego, boost the confidence. You know, it's nights like this too that I struggle. It's like I either kill the ball or I, I can't hit anything. And the nights like this, I keep trying to chase for hits. And it's like going to the casino and gambling and chasing your money when you're losing. You know, you, you got to cut your losses at some point. It says you're on fire. Did it actually say that? <laughs> Look at this. He can't even hit in batting practice. The thing is, it's like that ball that was snagged by like the second baseman. I mean, like you can't hit a ball harder than that. Granted, not every play has been like that, but. Great Sunday afternoon for baseball here, north of the border at the Rogers Center in downtown Toronto. Today, game three of this four-game series between the central leading Chicago White Sox going and to the Toronto Blue Jays. Get a different and then briefly, point let's take a look at the two starting pitchers who get the assignment here. We'll slide on over much closer to the TV and away from the computer screen here. Let's see if this does me any good. I won't really be reading your comments Dog for a little bit. Bones we got to work on this in, back in the old lineup 94 after average the night we got going. <clears throat> you know what? I'm not gas pitching for a while. Now a check swing on the pitch <laughs> okay, inside, but he definitely broke the plane, and that's the first strike. Now a fastball like hit on the ground right to a anyway. second. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. Dog Bones will stand in. He grounded out his first time. This is the same guy that hit his first pitch he saw in the majors for a home run, right? Just checking. First offering on the way. Swing and a little tapper out in front of the mound. To second for one. Back to first and a great stretch there may be the difference. It's a double play and the inning is over. I have no words. I have no words. Dog Bones will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ball game. You think if you guessed like you'd accidentally run into a pitch now and that one, right? Doesn't really seem to be the case. Offering here, although this looked to be well below the knees, it's strike one. And you know what, guys? I have been really impressed so far. Not only has he used his fastball well, but he's also spotted it well. I mean, that is perfect location right on the knees. <laughs> Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire, ball for one. Wait, he's so off of it. Uh, and a good strike to pitch there as he has that. to fight to stay alive as this is fouled away. Well, he's clearly throwing fastballs out of the zone. And the fastball easy to lay off that time, two and two. And this late into his afternoon of work, 
the longer this at bat goes, the better chance that he might slip up and leave one out over the middle of the plate. And he just manages well, he to stay alive yet. here as he fights this one foul. <laughs> Grounded foul. Oh, of course, and when he does, I hit it foul. Another 2 2 offering. And this is on the ground toward the hole. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Blue Jays trying to hold on here at the Rogers Center. They lead it here in the eighth as you get a look at the line score to this point in the contest. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home tops player of the game. Mm -hmm. I can't win a marathon with a forever. Oh. This stream is epic. Epically bad. Well, not everybody's career is paved on the gold path, right? Ups and downs. Mostly downs right here. Uh. <laughs> Come on, I'm doing awesome. Move me up in the lineup. <sighs> oh, I want to go. Okay, yeah. I want to get to target field. Maybe that's where I break out of it. first place anymore. Better start attacking the contract the uh, contact attribute, yeah. Definitely. Wonder if I have any stubs laying around. Uh, I think I only got 600 or so. I say, if I could buy me a thousand points and pour it into uh, contact real quick. <laughs> hey, what? His, his batting practice cuts are terrible right now. Baseball on the show as you get a look there at Rogers Center in Toronto. Today it's the finale of this four game set between the Chicago White Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays. Dog Bones will dig in now, and he, like many others, was held hitless in the shutout yesterday afternoon. Swung on and bounced on the ground to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Dog I was like, there's nobody out. I'm sad about it here. He grounded out his first time. Right on. Come on. This is foul down so far ahead of the third. Unreal. To second for one. On to Encarnacion, and it's in time for the double play. Let's pile on dog a little more, shall we? A couple of... Edwin Encarnacion makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And this is lifted high in the air down the line behind third. 
so oh, warm, man. No one came over here. Take the charge for the it's first down. Loud. Here's another example it's of a guy pitching the though. contact. He doesn't need to strike everybody out. Just get him off balance, and this winds up a routine pop-up. The uh, two-two. Now a ball hits sharply on the ground to third. Throw in time at first for route number two. <sighs> Dog Bones will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ball game. Gee, what do you think he likes? He likes his slider. Hard hit towards center. Right at him. Right at him. Is there two gone? The struggle is real. Long. <laughs> well, he's now 0 for 3 in this one, but he's had a couple of good at bats mixed in there. He's seeing the ball really well. How is it possible that I have hot spots in the zone? I know, right? Dog bones. Get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Oh, a 69 average. Can I get that? Here's the first offering. And this is <laughs> saws him off as he Did I even get extended. It's not even long. registering my one. brain to yeah, the, really the pulled off of that controller one. right now. It's like, kind did of I just swing? To seeing from a guy like him. If I get to a 69 average, Danny can I rename it Doggy Slam? That time, and he's in charge now. Nothing in two. <laughs> One thing you've got to be aware of as a hitter is he's going to give you a bit of a variety up there. He's got five pitches. Yeah. He's going to use all of them. And this is in the dirt as it swung on and missed, but this should be a pretty straightforward play Dog to first. Is awesome. Good guys. Leading this one on the road here in the eighth as you get a look at our line scored at this point. Time to hand out tops player of the game honors for this one. And guys, I think we can all agree that this fellow right here deserves it. Do enough points for contact yet? No. Of course we don't. Just retire. <laughs> All right, target field's gonna wake me out of it. Let's 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 do this. Target field is the cure. Yeah, I have as many Major League homers as I did uh, AAA homers. Hope you guys appreciate that I'm going through this excruciating slump here just to try to entertain you. <laughs> Although I don't know what's entertaining about this. Yeah, right there. That's the swing you want. I love how they made my park look. It looks awesome. Outdoor baseball now from the warehouse district. And I think this is the first game that has made uh, Today, jumbo trunks and like the scoreboards actually between the Chicago White Sox look like they've got the right the finish Minnesota to them. Twins. Like they actually finally look believable to me. 
And before we get too much further, here's a look at each manager's starting lineup here for the opener. And let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. Dog Bones will dig in for the first time here, looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. Yeah, it's dipped, all right. It's been dipped in horse crap. And over toward the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. No lead to speak of at second. Here's the pitch. And really? A sliced foul into the stands in right. I find out a pitch play. and I do that with it. Uh, it's now ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Oh, Hold him a bit as this is hit God. high in the air towards right center and shallow. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. White Sox strand a couple. White Sox. Dog Bones will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Uh. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats of foul ball. All right, what's he going to strike me out on? I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And that, struck him out. I guessed that pitch so many times, and now he finally throws it. And you know it what that is right it. there? That's life in the show, bud. Come on. Once teams around the league figure out the book on how to get you out, it can be a real tough adjustment to play at this level. Up next for the White Sox. Dog Bones will stand in now. I'm he flew out in his first care. time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Here's Hughes now on 0 and 1. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. <laughs> If he would have swung at that, he would have never heard the end of it. On a hole now, as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, and it's one That's and two now. Again. Yeah, not a real good effort there. That pitch was never going to be a strike. And he's got himself another one. He picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Down in order go the White Sox. Score remains tied one to one. Just a word of advice, don't start a Road to the Show live stream at 1 a.m. and expect good results. Dog We're Bones almost there. The We're last chance the now with two out here in the night. This might be the at bat that puts First him there. Pitch coming now from Hughes. Started to go around there. Appeal down to first. Yes, sir, says the first base umpire. Strike one. Now a swing, oh and he God. popped him up. And no ordinary pop-up at that. This is way up there. And that is going to wrap things up as the catch is made, and the Twins have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Well, we talked about how they needed a good outing out of this guy. And he gave them that and even more, finishing off the complete game victory. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And guys, the Twins were given a great boost in this one thanks to the start of this man.
swear I'm watching Josh ready. Oh. oh, I think I might have finally gotten contact points. Yes. This is so painful. He better check his messages. <laughs> I believe he's going to be in the doghouse. Oh, he's firmly planted in the doghouse. This is not a good time to try to make it right either because I'm like freaking delirious right now. Nighttime skies above over the home of the twins, Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. Tonight, the rubber match of this three game series between the Chicago White Sox and the Minnesota Twins. They have Dan here. Dog Bones will stand in back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. Do you realize I think we've seen two hits the entire night? Ball one. A home run and a single? I'm pretty sure. Now here's yeah! the board on the ground a second. And it's a hit. through a base hit. Hell yeah. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over, and just shoots this ball right back up the middle. Gordon Beckham will get his first shot here. <laughs> Two hits in five trips a night ago. Checked by Heron. Now the pitch. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty two and two. Now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. And this is a strike Can three ball. Cool. Guess oh, not. a break there. Two away. Moises Sierra will dig in here, and he'll do so with the eighth best average in the American League entering play. Now a big oh, swing here won. as he gives this one a good ride. High and deep out to left field. And this is into the bleachers and left a home run. Who's in my champion club seat today? It's a two-run shot to straight away left. Wait, home run number did five I just work on the 19 year. points As for the White Sox for a home run? Front two to nothing. How, how, did, how did that happen? <laughs> so random. First to home on a hit. Well, yeah, it was a home run. <laughs> Wait, did he just he lose just dog hanging for a high five there? Right if you there. look back like he was That pissed. swing tells a story right there. Watches. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game too, so he's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. I think Flowers dissed him. Huh. Dog Bones will stride in again. He singled and later <laughs> scored his first time. Beef. You're supposed to stop at third, don't you know? Holy smokes, third. look at this. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A He's going to get three ball. points for that watch. Yep, three As points. Look at that again. You know, this is the prejudice against you hitting the ball down the line. Like, that's not a good base hit to get. Come on now. 
I bet he gets him out nine of them. But here you just have to tip your cap to the guy at the plate. Gordon Beckham will get another shot. Called out on strikes his first time around. Hit hard to short. Well, to that's second for one. Well. On to Maurer, it's a double play, and that ends the inning. <laughs> yeah, I think it made a difference. Dog Bones will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Oh yeah, look at that Paul and Minnie sign lit up. It looks awesome. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Yeah, you wonder if they'll approach him a little differently now that he's two for two off him. And they might not be so eager to go right after him. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the White Sox. On to the bottom of inning number six. I love standing up there on that reeling. There's so many good spots to just stand around and watch a game in the in the open spaces at Target Field. It's one of my favorite things to do. Dog Bones will stride in, round it out his last time through. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And now oh, against his come body, on, come on. a jump throw. Yeah, it feels good. You gotta take it out and get him. Third hit tonight. Gotta this take it out and get him. Super human effort like right this. here, deep in the hole. You see, he doesn't have time to plan himself, so he just leaps into the air, fires it across the diamond. Just a great effort, but this was always going to be a base Seriously, hit. Seriously though, I love the time of day effects in the ballparks. I mean, the the Gordon Beckham the Twins will step in with a tying run on first, so he's awesome got a concentrated on. work on getting on base here. As it lights up. Payoff pitch coming. Uh, he goes with the slider that okay. time, and oh, it's yes. driven to deep right field. Garcia will have no, plenty no, of room no, as he no, makes stop. the Don't catch, go. and there's a big out number two. I just wanted you to and bluff, they've dude. got a man caught in the rundown. And they will put the tag on him. They got it. And right. with that, the ball game is over. Yeah, and you know this home crowd Ooh. is going to get to drive home happy. I as hate their the guys come controls. through with a very good win. The twins are the fat chick of slump busting. <laughs> yes, they are, aren't they? Oh, my. That's funny. A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim Come one on, run man. victory I, in the end as we get you one final right look there. at our line score. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name Arms this guy player right here as the recipient of our top player of the I game award? Well, he winds up with three quarters of the cycle. Couldn't quite squeeze in the triple, but that's all right. Definitely did enough to earn himself the hardware. Seriously, the, the so that's a wrap here tonight. The my uh, partners in the booth, the Eric Harris and like Steve so Lyons, awesome. and our entire crew. All the different like, textures you've been watching MLB before. the Everything show. Felt like really and for flat more, and click PS3. on over to the Show Nation. There's so many awesome textures. The twins are victorious so. in this one, four to three. Good night from Minneapolis. I mean, that makes me feel like I'm there, and I'm there often. Dang, I would have had 50 points had I not got 10, dot 10 for that base running fiasco. Yes, I'll take this. Because I might even actually get some points out of this that'll be 
very much needed. Oh no, though I'm on level three of this, where they only show you which third of the pl ah whatever. Who cares? I don't hate this training as much as I hate the, you know, only hitting strikes fair. I hate that one. Always have. <clears throat> Stay fair, you piece of crap. Yeah, how am I supposed to do this? Well, at least hit fair balls. Come on. Took you so damn long. Piece of crap. Oh, really? The amount of fall balls here, I can just scream. Ugh. Watch it hit him on the top of the damn head. Concussion. Hey, congrats, you hit a fair ball. An inside pitch up. Oh yeah, I know, right? The scary thing is Broadway goes and hits 350, and he can't crack the everyday lineup. And well, I mean he does, but I think it's mostly because the guy's hurt. And Dog plays every day, and yeah. Holy crap, I'm tired. Mm. Back home on the south side. A look there at U.S. Cellular Field in Chicago as we join you for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Hop on Tonight, the red the line, a three -game series taking up a stop between the NL Chinatown, West leading Arizona Diamondbacks mm. and the Chicago White Sox. Yummy. And let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up in this one. 2008, I took a bus overnight to Chicago, got in downtown about... Seven in the morning, walked all around town, got my pass for the uh, for the for the uh, for the L, and um, watched Cubs and um, Cubs and Cardinals noon game at Wrigley, and that game went ten innings. Cubs one and ten. Let the crowd clear out a little bit. Head out, caught my red line train down to U.S. Cellular. As I got there, the gates were opening for White Sox, Red Sox. I mean, it was like, could this have been any better? Then I watched that, Dog got home. back to my uh, bus at 
10.30 and went back home overnight again. Didn't even stay in a hotel in Chicago. I, I searched out like the one day of the year where both teams play at home and they're not playing each other. It's more rare. Back up the middle. Even more rare is the Don Bones basement like that right there. And the runner will hold at second, so two on with nobody out. Yeah, really not a bad pitch when you look at it. This is at the knees with some movement. He just uses the center of the diamond and checks in here with a base hit. What a glorious day of baseball it was, though. Stride in again. He singled and later Sitting watching batting time. practice in the sun at Wrigley Field. Oh. Awesome game. Now a ball hit high and yeah. deep out there to left center field. Come and on, man. You know what he's doing. Shy of the track for out number one as the runner will retreat to first. Well, and as a pitcher, you hold your breath anytime a ball's hit in the air at this place. But luckily, he got under this ball a little bit too much. Base is loaded, really? A retreat back to first base. Dog Bones will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. Spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. No, I'm low, that. but Montero won't let it get too far. Don't do it. Too late, you did it. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And this will be fouled away. Why do I always have to mess up the bases loaded situations? And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Now a check swing no. and it went around, says the home plate umpire. No appeal needed, and there are two away. Well, if there was ever a time for a strikeout, that, that and the was grand slam comes right Bases behind remain him. Loaded with two wow. away now, so you know if they can get out of this with only one run scoring, that'd be quite a comeback. Dog Bones will dig in. Took a cold third strike his last time, and that swung on, on really? missed for strike one. Now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. Goodness, 0 oh, and 2 now. Oh boy. And that's not headed. I should have quit on the three, the three hit game. Uh, got him on the good really? slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Well, this is just getting easy out there on the mound. The way these guys are chasing at everything, and he's saying, heck, why even bother throwing strikes? I can just throw it over to first and they probably swing at it. And quite a lot of offense in this one, but if we had to highlight one guy that made the difference, there he is. I need a drink after that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go grab one while this is loading. I'll be right back.
I also grabbed a slice of my infamous cold pizza, which arrived that way today. Should I change my batting stance? Nah. He's had a long running go with the, the Bryce Harper. We're not going to change it. Cellular Field in Chicago as we join you for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, game two of this three-game interleague series between the NL West leading Arizona Diamondbacks and the Chicago White Sox. And let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers as you Diamond see how they stack pizza up right there. Cold pizza, we're going to get this going. Dog Bones get his first chance now trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second and this is going to be a foul ball and he checks his swing did he go around yes says the first base umpire strike two And he's forced to protect with two strikes as he had to reach for that one to foul it away. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. That was lovely. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no problem out there for Hill as the inning is over. Down in order go the White Sox. We'll move to the third with no score. You help doing it in the slump? Yeah. All right. If Dog does not get it home, uh, just, if, uh, I can talk. English, here we go. Let's try again. I'm delirious right now. If Dog does not get a hit in this game, he shaves the beard for the meantime. Dog, oh wait, that's a lot of work, so we'll put dig that in. back. He popped out his first time. Because it's five layers, damn it. First pitch to him. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. We'll put that as a maybe. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Oh yeah, it went fair. And Good. the throw to first is in time, Great. one gun. Well, it probably wasn't the way he wanted to move the guy into scoring position, but it's going to have to do, and he's going to get that man up to second base now with one away. Pretty much my last chance. Dig in for a third time now. He's popped out and grounded out so far. Right, no guess, bitch. It's not like it's helped me out any. And he just oh. keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Oh, another good pitch there. I'm not sure he's thrown a bad slider tonight. Every one of them has had a ton of movement. Lined hard towards short. He must not fly that hard. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. 
One, two, three, go the White Sox. They trail this one, one to nothing. Dog Bones will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. All right. Chance to walk off. back and out of play. One and one. They're definitely making him work out there. He came in trying to shut the door and he has not had an easy time. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Oh, foul back. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. And this is going to be a foul ball. Come on, dude, you got to do this. Ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. And this no, one screw you. on the ground back up the box. Throw in time for the final out, and the Diamondbacks uh. will put an end to their three game skid as this ball game is over. Wow, just a really great game to watch from beginning to end. A well-pitched, one-nothing ball game. This is just a broadcaster's dream. What if he just changes the beard color? Does that count? Final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. I was so looking forward to a walk off. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player. I don't think I've had a walk off hit with any of my hitters this year. Should make him look like a pedophile. That looks too much like Red Bull. doesn't look right like that.
Give him the porn stash. <clears throat> well, if the if the stubble look doesn't work for him here, then he'll get the porn stash. How many full beard bee does one man need? Apparently five. That's what he had on PS3. I'm not going to recognize the man now. Oh, I hate waiting for pop-ups to come down. Uh... It's the MLB pregame show, and we're counting down to first well, this pitcher this good. afternoon. While the final preparations are being made, we'll take a look at a young up-and-comer in today's Bowman prospect spotlight. Dog Bones is highlighted here. And he's been struggling a bit of late, at least in terms of the expectations placed on him. His manager came out earlier today and said he'd really like to get him back on track and into what they want from him. Well, sometimes you're going to have periods like this in your career. The little streaks where things just aren't clicking. But the good news is he is a very talented ball player. I think he'll get back on the good side of his manager very soon. But this certainly won't turn into any kind of big story unless this trend continues. All right, pregame festivities are wrapping up. It's time for baseball, and we'll have it for you next. Okay. Then. Afternoon baseball on the south side of Chicago and U.S. Cellular Field. It's the first game in the month of June between the NL West leading Arizona Diamondbacks and the Chicago White Sox. Miguel Montero will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. Swing and a high pop-up. Could be tough back behind third. Oh, Whoa, he dude. Him. <laughs> Hello. And this will go down as an E5, as you can see the exasperation on his face. He lost his ladies long before he lost the beard. <laughs> Wow, he was so weird. We'll stand in here, and like That's so many others, hitless in the shutout last night. <laughs> Just never mind me. I'm taking a screenshot there. Oh wow! Why is that so loud? Okay. I still chasing sliders. Zone and that strike one. <laughs> yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and yeah. that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an after. Oh shoot! And this looks gonna have to stay. The White Sox pick up their first knock of the ball game. Yeah, you know it looked like they came back at him with another slider, but after swinging and missing that last one makes a better adjustment that time and drives for a base hit. <clears throat> Diane Viciedo will stand in for the first time, currently third in the American League in home runs. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. All right, it's scoring position. Let's get a quick uh, base hit here. Score. So is the fourth leading hitter in the American League. The one-one now from Hudson. Now a swing and a fly ball. Granderson retreats to the track and he'll put this oh, one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. <clears throat> Dog Bones will dig in. A he singled his first this. time around. Still looks so weird to me. Oh, we're not gonna get a close up there. Come on. Whatever. Come on. Right here. Hey, two left. Two left. Nope. And 
Davis is fouled back and out of play. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. <sighs> And a slider oh, on, God. missed and the side is retired. How do you find a pitch in them? So one run on two hits, including the home run. No errors and no one left. Dog Bones will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. Pitch here misses wide, 1 0. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. White Sox leave one. They're down here 5 to 1. Am I hitting better in an analog and better in a I, I used to hit analog quite a bit. Dog Bones Went back started off here in their half of the ninth, and no sign of a reliever. They're going to let him try to finish this one off. Well, he's been brilliant so far, so why not see if he can take it the distance? It just doesn't happen these days very often. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Here's the 0-1 from Hudson. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And he just gets a oh, piece there. See, that pitch is foul. All over it. And what in the. Fouled back. He'll try again, one, two. And he goes after a fast really ball, but pops pop it up. up. Back I'm behind second so base. Hill is done. there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. Guess one pitch away. is classic. Yeah, another good start to an inning for him here. He's really only made one bad pitch the entire game. That was the solo home run. Other than that, you can see there, not much. One hit he got out of that. And guys, the D-backs offensively were time. led this afternoon by the man you see here, Curtis Granderson. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he connected on it. anything good. You want me to do B?
outside if I open this window. It's gonna cool me off. That's too damn loud to yeah. No, I think this double stays. Just do the. I don't know. I don't need to be cooled off. <laughs> Dog doesn't. I do. set for baseball here at U.S. Cellular Field in Chicago. It's the opener of this three-game series. Dog Bones. Wait a second. Did I just put a dual flash helmet? They'll have what five, the? six, and seven due up to start the home second. Has he, has he had that the whole time? He has, hasn't he? I need to go change that. Swing and a liner toward yeah, right. You're not center. taking that one. And that's going to slip Mark Akis and Jones for extra bases. This is my first extra base hit since the homer. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. I need to take a dual. Why did somebody slap yeah, me for wearing a dual? Get that early run right back. Now, this is a great swing right here. He drives this one all the way out to the wall. And he's into second with a leadoff double. See, I, I hate that. This year, I don't know, I, I think it's, you know, it used to be good to the majors and just defaulted to a regular round. Now I think it's defaulted to the right you change it. Hopefully get that runner over to third with one out. Trust in the stash. is swung on and missed Whoa. the ball did hit the ground so we'll need to go to first <laughs> and the throw will indeed adventures in base for the first out. Gordon Beckham will come forward now back one in the lineup one here one after one getting one yesterday one afternoon one off one now a swing and he just fouls this one away you get bored out here come on one out Swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Moises Sierra yeah, so will stand in for the first time now, and he'll do so as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. Jimenez deals free to like, the one you know, get a hit. swing and a fly ball. Marquecas is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. A man left for the White Sox. They trail this one one to nothing. Dog bones. Got that average just to one fifty. Off man. Here in the home half of the rocking it now. Stash power. Let's go. It's the rally stash. Back at it now is Jimenez as he's able to jump ahead in the count quickly here. Nothing in one. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Oh, and he dusted Whoa. him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. And even on 0-2, you don't want guys to get into a comfort level. No. The, and they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Jamile Weeks will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out Bring 0 for it. 2 thus far. Just bring it, buddy. Now a ball Whoa. hits sharply toward third. And that, that, that gets anyway. down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he is in the second with a two-out double. So some life with two away as he's in the second with the opposite field double. 
And as you can see right there, he's now third on the Orioles in that category. You should just stop Dog swinging and everything that's fine we'll here. Well, that's easy to say to somebody who's live streaming at 3 in the freaking morning out of their mind. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think you're going to call that a strike on me. I got no chance. One. Well, he's been in a tough stretch offensively and. This sure ain't gonna help. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Way outside. 1-2. and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. And if you're a fan of pitching, this has been the game for you. I mean, these two guys have both been exceptional so far. Just two runs allowed between both of them. I'll of course, for again. makes the broadcasters awfully happy because this game has flown by. And boys, probably a handful of. I'm shocked I'm still playing this. What am I doing? Am I the live stream up live yet? Yes, it is. <sighs> I'm gonna not swing at these pitches here right now. Yeah, we're popping up. Be bad in practice. Let's go. A look there at U.S. Cellular Field in Chicago as we join you for another edition yes, of Baseball on the Show. It's the finale of this three-game series. Dog Bones will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. First pitch coming. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Weeks for one. Awesome. But no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. And here's why you always go in hard at second base. This could be a very easy double play ball, but you see the aggressive slide here. That really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up getting just one on that play. Excellent aggressive base running. Diane Viciedo. Will stand in for the first time. I would have been better off going to bed, getting up and doing this stream in the morning. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Party what, for did one. You catch it in the air or not? Onto the pitcher covering it first, and it's your textbook three-six-one double play that'll get him out of the inning. One hits all they get. We'll go now. Oh, I forgot to get rid of the dual flap helmet stand in. He reached on a fielder's choice his first time. In my haste to get to the next game. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's well, ball one. Well, this is a strike today. <laughs> and 
And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Markakis is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. On to the top. Dog Bones will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh inning, and we're still here in the catcher's mitt, snapping all the way up here. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Boy, I'll tell you. To be down 0 and 2 against a guy like this, the stuff he's got tonight, not a comfortable spot to be in. Oh, and he dusted him Jeez. off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger Screw area when it's popping in that eye. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. You can't underestimate how important Done. a start this is when your team's on a losing streak. Pinch it for me again. He's been phenomenal. And it's all thanks to him that they've got a good shot at ending this thing. Dog Bones will stand in now and, hey, give these guys credit. They're not going down without a fight. I'll tell you what, they're not too far away from making a game what? out of this one after all. Now a check swing on the pitch inside, but he definitely broke the plane, and that's the first strike. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. I've never felt so unable to hit a baseball in this game. Seriously. And this is fouled back and out of play. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Way outside. One and two. That high fastball is definitely a pitch guys will pop up in. That's what he's looking for on the mound. So that's good restraint to hold back and not swing. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Swing and he's on the breaking pitch. Two away. And here at the plate, you do want to avoid the double play, but you don't want to do this. So now the runners stay at the corners with two away now to the next guy to come through with a two-out hit. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, just the one run allowed, but anytime you can give your bullpen a day off, it does nothing but help your club in the long run. Not fun, not fun. Oh, my bunting is going down. Ooh. <sighs> Don't let that happen. Is anybody even awake out there? I know I'm not. I am, says Alpha. Now, the field, 
and we'll also give you a quick look at our two starting oh, pitchers and see Ricky their numbers that, right there. That sounds like fun. Dog Bones will dig in for the first time here, looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. And this is hit hard on the ground towards Please short. Get Only plays going to be the first, me. so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. Hey, you got an RBI. This is a pretty hard hit ball, and I thought for a second <laughs> that he might have had a shot at the plate, but he thinks about it for a second pleasures. and takes the sure out instead, and that allows that runner to come in and score. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And he's able to get there on the long run and he covered a lot of ground there as the side hit balls, is well hit balls. So they pick They're up three the runs on only two hits in the... Dog Bones will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Swing and he pops Poor him up balls. behind the bag at second. And this is handled easily, so quickly two are oh, gone this here is to start just the insane. fifth. Michael Saunders will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And he'll go the other way with the fastball as this is on the ground to third. No problem here, one away. Dog Bones will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Right hander against right hander as this is a ball 1 and 0. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Over to Smoke at first, and there are two away. Dog Bones will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Now a swing and a miss and things like are not looking so promising here. Down guess a fish once in a while, but well, he just hasn't looked I guess not tonight. All night long. Lined hard to center field. Stop. Schaefer you son under of a it, bitch. and he makes the catch for out number three. One, two, three, go the White Sox. It's cool. They got um, they got Quest Field in the background there. So a good offensive showing for these guys, but if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. I don't know. Sim forward and see what happens. <laughs> Watch my average go up. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I did a little bit. Got another RBI. Look at that. I don't play. Walk, walk. Single, single. Look at that.
Oh, Verlander? No, thank you. Scherzer? No, thank you. We've fallen off. Joe Broadway was Nighttime like skies park. over Oriole Park in Baltimore. Tonight it's the first of four between the Chicago White Sox and the Baltimore Orioles. And we'll also give you a quick look at our two starting pitchers as you see their numbers right there. All right, Tillman's having a terrible year. He's three and nine. Dog Bones will stand in now, still struggling to get anything going offensively. Oh, I hit another homer. <laughs> Hit another homer while I was I mean. Now a ball lined toward there the gap go. in left center. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. We'll get a good look at this from up in our press box camp. You can see the two outfielders give chase, but this is almost perfectly between them. Double. It finds a gap for a double. Now's where we'll see if anyone's still Diane awake Viciedo and watching this. will stand in for the first time. Currently <laughs> third in the American League in home runs. Tillman on two and one. And this is fouled straight back. Double. <laughs> this ball's in the air now out to right field. Else were there? Were there two? Marcakis is there to put it away for round because. number one. Oh, he's dead. The tag, and he is out at third base. <laughs> it's a double play. Bonus, well, one of the first things you learn when you read these guys' scouting reports do not been. run on that arm out in right field. Now, he thinks he can tag from second, make it up to third with one away, but he winds up learning his lesson yeah, the hard way. I don't have to base run, and I got two points for being aggressive. Yeah. Sounds like a win to me. Dog Bones Holy will stand crap, in here. He doubled his first time around. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. And he reaches oh. for one but can't find it as he's down on strikes for the final out. Dog Bones will stand on, in. Put him in the zone one here. I don't so have patience at three in the morning. First pitch to him. And this pitch just about really? saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? 
Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. And this will be fouled away. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Lays off the fastball the way, so it's two and two now. Come on, Fouled straight, straight back. Just a little bit more. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. The 2 2 one more time. That's back really? up the middle and Actually into the center there? field. So maybe a chance Holy here. Smokes. The Tyne runs aboard with two away. Yeah, the Tyne runs on base now with two outs. And who knows? If this next guy can put one in the gap, we could have ourselves a tie ball game. Did I do it? Am I about 200 now? Will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Oh, that the... tying run at first, and he'll dive back in. The one-one outside, two and one. We'll look here at the hits per side line. here in the late going. Way too long. Just throw the pitch, dude. And he goes the other way with the fastball as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Jones is going to have room out there as he puts this uh. away to retire. Hey, Dog two or two. Will Matt dig in a single this Matt last time around. Out. Infield a double play depth all around. Here's oh, the that was my pitch. Oh, might not have been where he was hoping to that put was that pitch, pitch, but he Come somehow on. gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. Yeah, the velocity's good here, but I'm not so sure about the location. That was right down the middle. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Back yeah, that to figures. first, a double play, and with that, the ball game is over. Let's just hand another, another ball good game. win for these guys, and they're playing some confident baseball out there right now. That's their fourth win in a row, so they've got things firing on all cylinders. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. Well, you always hope oh. to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our tops player of the game. Two hits, though. You missed the home run? Yeah, so did I. It was simmed. How in the world does he have a five game? Oh, that's right, because I simmed those games. All right, I don't know how I'm doing this, but one more. Uh, why do I keep torturing myself? I used to stream for hours on end. Trying to figure out how I did that. I used to do 24 hour streams. That was insane, that's stupid. Why did I do that?
Nothing like giving up four right in the first Dog inning. Bones will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. Exactly at 200 right now. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other Good way. And it's strike one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at bat. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Dog Bones come in now to lead things off against our starter, who probably wishes he had a mulligan to use on that last inning. Yeah, he was doing just fine up until the last time he took the mound. He's got to hope that Infield that was just take it. Or he might not stick around to see another inning. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. And it's just the fourth inning here, but he's already given up more hits in this one than he did in his entire previous outing. Whatever he had going on last time out, it ain't happening here. Hit hard toward the right side. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. The relay. And he'll make it over to third base. First and the third Sox man, have runners the at the corners to start the inning. Moises Sierra will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Tyler Flowers will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. 3-2, here it comes. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Alejandro Deaza will get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. Now here's the ball hit sharply Thank toward you. the right side. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Dog Bones will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. And he'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Norris over to first. Runner back safely. Don't get picked off. Come on. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you've got to leave alone and make him bring something down. And there's ball two now. Throw over to the back. Dude, I, and late reaction I am so sick of the pickoffs at first base. This what, is all what does this have to do with what I'm trying to do? You're taking our guys away from me. It happens way too the often. Is an easy pick -off. I really don't like that this year. Throw on to Davis takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. <sighs> Nothing doing here for the White Sox. Has it... Why do pinch hit for me? Full of fine individual performances to choose from in this one, boys. But what do you say we go ahead and let this man take home the heart? All right, I'm beyond out of my mind. I think that's gonna that's gonna pretty much end this one. <laughs> uh, where I'm standing I'm just gonna I'm gonna fall asleep standing up sitting down laying down wherever it happens to be in the next like five minutes so I better just call it guys 
Dog Bones is struggling along, but he'll he'll get it going. Probably when I have more energy. <laughs> but it was still fun to uh, get together, hang out, and talk, and uh, just kind of move along in the um, career. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So we'll try to do this at a time that isn't 1 a.m. next time. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, guys. You guys are all really good sports. I appreciate that. Anyone who'll stick around to watch a guy hit 150 in the middle of the night, you got to be an all right crowd. So uh, take care of yourself. Enjoy the holiday. If I don't talk to you tomorrow, I'll try to stream something tomorrow as well. We'll talk to you later, guys.